everybody and welcome to our uh, second instalment uh, after a pause of about four or five weeks uh, we're going to conclude the Terminator franchise and discuss Terminator Salvation, Terminator Gen Geni Genesis 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 and, and um, Terminator Dark Fate. So um, in the last thrilling episode, we decided that Terminator One was the best no, uh, of those three. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. we did. <laughs> then it was Terminator Two, and I'm you know, quite happy for that to go either way. And the Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines was a boring snore fest that didn't need to happen. Uh, and for those watching this, and I know there aren't many of you, it's bloody roasting. So please bear with us if internet drops out, or indeed one of us passes out due to the heat. Um, right. Terminator Salvation, I'll begin. I hated it for a number of reasons. And I'll start it off. Sam Worthington was awful. Christian Bale had got his head neatly tucked up his own backside. It was overmade. It was a dreadful script. It was boring as hell. Nothing happened. The only redeeming features it had got was I quite liked Anton Yelchin as a, as a young John Connor. Probably the best iteration of John Connor that we've yeah, seen. Was Kyle Reese, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, apologies. I meant John, I meant Carl Reese. See, even I'm getting, everything's blending in. Carl Reese, forgive me. Um, other than that, it was just dull, really, really dull. What did you think? It had one redeeming feature for it was the fact that it tried to do something different and move away from the mess that had been made with T3 and thought, right, it's about the future. Let's try and make a story about the future. Let's actually do what happens in the future in a sort of a prequel way, but and not a prequel way. And for that, I do give it some credit. But like everything else with some of these things, it's the it's a good idea, but the execution was a bit shit. Yeah, I'm with Mark on that. That's what I said today before when we were talking, like when we did the uh, cocoon uh, castaway. We just chatted afterwards, and I said then I agree on that. Salvation, I'll give a little credit to. We tried to do something different. It didn't follow exactly the same story that they had done for every other film previously. Yeah. You know, there's lots of there's a in this in the Terminator franchise, there's a lot of repeating the same story in a slightly different way, which I suppose it's a time travel sort of franchise that can work. But yeah, I, I like Salvation to an extent because it tried something different. There's a lot to fail it on. I'd have to agree there's some of the acting wasn't fantastic. I didn't mind Christian Bale. I mean, okay, we all know he was an arse at the time. We all saw the clips of him abusing the, uh, the chap working on the set and all that. I didn't mind him in the role. I quite enjoyed it. There were bits that I liked. I liked the mode. Some of the Terminators I liked a lot. The motorbike Terminator thing I thought was fun. Lots of the battle scenes were kind of fun. Yeah. Overall, it just it just wasn't great. It just it just wasn't. Genesis, though, I mean, oh. The other problem I've got with the, the other problem I've got with Salvation, uh, the same as with Genesis, it's this this movie Salvation is proof that Sam Worthington was really fucking lucky when he got the Avatar role <laughs> because he's not the greatest actor in the world. No. This and Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans killed it. Then to, uh, exposed him for what he actually is, which is a is a second rate actor at best. He's a supporting actor. He's, he's he can't carry a movie, and and this just shows because okay he was a Terminator, but his acting is pretty robotic, and that's not intentional, which is really <laughs> sad. Yeah, for for a role where he could have been, yeah, yeah it wasn't it wasn't meant to be, which is really funny because that's one of the things I would say on overall with the Terminators, the Terminator franchise. A lot of times they do cast actually decent people in the role. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, the, you see, I was the closest the to get to a bad bad actor. I mean, you know. You know um, some of the roles are a bit iffy, but overall, they do cast quite well, really. Yeah. I didn't mind the Marcus character, I've got to be honest, but I thought he was uh, he was a nice addition to it, and it took it in a 
like I say, trying something different. He yeah. took it in. And I, I do find it difficult to destroy it, really, because you add soft to them. They was trying yeah. to do something different. It, it was just yeah. dull as dish Robotic attitude. Wasn't too oh, bad. Oh, uh, God. It was so boring. I would yawn. It was like, come on, something happened. Oh, look, a big explosion. Yeah, great. Come on. <laughs> Even the ones, even the ones that weren't great, Genesis. I I enjoyed every, I enjoyed them all. I didn't come away from them hating them. I didn't go away thinking, well, that's two hours that I'll never get back. Okay, it wasn't the best movie that I've ever seen in my life. But I didn't, I didn't watch any of them really and think, well, that was just a steaming pile of crap. I thought there was something, there was something to enjoy in all of them, whether it was proper enjoyment, whether they actually fit with the franchise and all that at times was debatable. One thing I do like about this is it wasn't... That what I like about this is it wasn't restricted with timelines mm. and time travel and worrying about what we're going to do because it's going to affect anything that's happened in the other movies, which did give this film a bit of freedom because anything that they did in this would not affect the no. outcome of the three movies. I, I agree with that. That was the one thing it did redeem itself on, the fact that it was a prequel. It was it left things safe. You didn't have to worry about that. It happened elsewhere. Um, and what were you going to say, mate? Just that, it, like, um, like Martin was saying, that there wasn't an awful film amongst these three, but again, looking at them as individuals, they are individual films. Yeah, you got one and two. Continue the franchise. They've got a theme, but not not anything that's tying them to the yeah. original. They're sort of in like like four, and we'll we'll talk about five in a minute. But you know, they're within that universe, aren't they? You know, they're yeah. a bit like sort of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. It's like Fantastic Terminators and where to find them. And and and, and I suppose that that leads us neatly into. Um, the mess just that was Genesis. Go the mess, just go, before you go into the mess, Jason, there's one thing I've got to say here, is Terminator to Salvation would have been a hit of a movie if they'd have had Schwarzenegger in it. But the problem that this movie faced was Terminator 3 killed off so much of the fan... the, the, the bums on seats fan base, the everyday people, not the hardcore people, because... Hardcore people watched it, but the general people thought Terminator 3 was so shit that they wasn't going to go and waste money to go and see Terminator 4. And also, they wasn't going to go and waste money if they wasn't going to see Arnold in it. So it had an uphill battle from the beginning. The oh, technically, it did have Arnold technically in it. he was in it, I'll where they the shoehorned game. him in. Yeah, but it, was, it, 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 it wasn't wasn't there, it wasn't part of the storyline, he wasn't the main role, he wasn't the reason people were going to see it. And then, leading into Genesis, which you're about to do, is the big mistake they did was they make Genesis and bring Arnold back, because Genesis is the biggest gut-wrenching bullfuck of a fucking excuse movie I have ever seen. It is a fucking, you saying that none of these films are, are really bad. I'm sorry, Genesis is really bad. He's really bad. Yeah. However, I thought when you watch it for the the second time, right, it feels like you've given the people who made the airplane movies and the scary movies access to go and make a fucking Terminator piss take because every single bit of this film it makes me want to fucking vomit. And this film is proof that fucking Joy Courtney is a big steaming pile of wank piss. The bloke is fucking useless. Joy Courtney is good when you cast him right. When you cast him wrong, he is not good. No, Joy Courtney is good if you cast him as a secondary role in the background, like Captain Boomerang, making him Kyle Reese. When we did our fucking castaway, it fucking Joy Courtney was the fucking prime example where they got it so, so fucking wrong. A, a bloke who's gone through all the shit that he's fucking gone through would not look and act like fucking Kyle Reese. And what's even worse, they got the first movie, they bent it over a desk, they pulled down its pants, and they dry-humped the fuck out of that fucking movie. It makes me fucking vomit. 
from the moment that you see Carl Reese fucking see himself and all that fucking bollocks where you know, fucking everything fucking changes straight away from the first movie and then fucking Arnold comes along and the fucking old robot fucking kills him. I just want to vomit all over the screen. For the first time in a long time, I've wanted to kick the fucking shit out of the TV. No, I enjoyed it as a bad movie. I, I, I can't even enjoy it as a bad movie. It's fucking I, I, I enjoyed it as a bad movie. I didn't think it was a good Terminator movie. I thought they messed with a lot of things. As I said, I think they cast a lot of good people in a lot of roles. Not always the right people in the right roles and stuff like that. But that was the that was the one that was the most messed up to me. I mean, right down to the John Connor as a Terminator. The guy playing John Connor was. Great actor and everything, but the wrong actor. Yeah. The miscasting in there right. in that sort of respect. And fucking Matt Smith at the end who turns into the bad fucking Skynet. I, I was just saying, it's, it's the first, this film made me almost as angry as Looper. That's how I fucking was. <laughs> <laughs> What you mean? It, what you mean? It was so faithful to the concept of time. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, good God, it wasn't. It was so bad. And oh. the, peop the people who watch this, right, what they needed to do before they did anything was go and get a copy of Flash Gordon, right, and see what happens when you've only got so many minutes left to save the Earth. Is you fucking run around and try and fucking save the Earth? These people have got a fucking countdown going along and they walk <laughs> along really slowly like nothing's fucking happening. Oh, there's no sense of urgency in any of the cast when they've got so many minutes to fucking save the planet. It just pisses me off. I, I, honestly, I fucking hell. The world's going to blow up in 20 minutes. What should we do? Let's sit and have a snack. That's what it fucking felt like. Oh, uh, do you know what? I really wish they'd cast Brian Blessed in there somewhere. Arnold's alive. <laughs> Arnold's alive. And what did you think of it before I give my opinion? It was messed up, wasn't it? Not sure it's as bad as Mark's. Uh, oh, it is. Vocal attack. No, I'm, I'm with Anz. I don't think it's that bad. I think it was enjoyable in a way. You know, um, it was twist enjoyment. If it hadn't been the turn of the movie, maybe it would have been fun. It was screwed up. With they, you don't need the term. This didn't need the Terminator running through it. It could have been any anything going yep. through time to try and save the universe. It's a, so I didn't score it very highly, but I didn't. I didn't think it was a load you of. You know what else annoys me about the film, right? Is you've got Arnold Schwarzenegger as the fucking Terminator, giving the fucking cast and the audience exposition about what the fuck is going on. Yeah. When did that become a thing? Yeah, the fucking Terminator. He just fucking stands well, there. Well, Mark, somebody had to fill the blanks in because half of the time I'm going, "What's happening?" I mean, yeah. I, I, have to say, admit, I did have to watch it numerous times. I, I, I have to say, right? <laughs> many times from what it, he just said. It's it, it's got a, a few redeeming features in the fact that we actually have a worse John Connor in this. Oh, right than in Terminator 2. They actually cast a, a more annoying pillock. But if you want more annoying Pratt's, what happened to Kyle Reese? When did Kyle Reese, did he, did he bang his head when he went back in time? And become a dumbass, thick What happened? He was like asking some of the most ridiculous, oh, and does he remember it? Well, of course he doesn't remember. It's not the same machine. What are you talking about, you moron? It was, it was just, it was dreadful. There's a few it's bits awful. of like nostalgic look back, and I could see what they were trying to achieve, but it it didn't work on the in, in the in the bigger picture. All that uh, going back into the original shop and taking the coat off the hook and all that stuff was it was. Yeah. It was and I think it made Martin smile, but it. And, and I sat there as well. That was fun. I mean, uh, you know. But the, it was it was fan service of like the worst time, really. And, and I sat there as well, thinking. To him in this way, I, I sat there as well, thinking, right, they're gonna oh, they've they've created their own time machine. Uh, they've created their own time machine thing to go. Oh well, they go back and they'll fix this. No, they went forwards. They even managed to screw up their own rules. They went forwards, and I went, well, that doesn't make any sense. What? what the thing is. They they, they they established all the rules about time travel in yep. Terminator 1. 
They kept it to a certain degree with Terminator 2. Yeah. They destroyed it with Terminator 3. Yeah. Terminator Salvation, it wasn't relevant. No. When Genesis came along, that again, as well as watching Flash Gordon, the guy should have fucking watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure because if that, that is the one movie, I don't care anybody <laughs> says, when it comes to time travel, going back and looping back on yourself, that they get it dead wrong. I'm going to leave the keys they there. Not okay. get it right. <laughs> I mean, what do we no... saw my dad keys? Excellent. <laughs> there is no cause and causality <laughs> at all in this movie. It's, There's none. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sat there going, well, hang on, they can't go back. Oh, oh and, and you know what? It sort of, it leaves a bit of taste in my mouth. So when I watched Dark Fate earlier, and I watched it thinking, I was hoping it was going to be better, you know, Schwarzenegger in that saying, oh, uh, I, I, I detect anomalies in time and I give her messages. Now, come on. This is borderline. I mean, I know it's... Uh, robots and time travel and it's meant to be you know sci-fi and fantasy but please give me something a little, a little bit more believable because dark fate was ridiculous just yeah. oh, ridiculous well, no, no. The, great, the, the great thing about oh, what, what it was like, like a cartoon one of the three. <laughs> dark fate was like a cartoon made into a real thing it was what uh, uh, genesis was what, horrendous I'll but dark what, fate was ridiculous like, Genesis, Genesis was a convoluted mess, but I, I, I will give them a little bit of credit of what they tried to do. That what they tried to do was, what we're going to do is we need to go forward. The only way we can go forward is to eradicate the restrictions that have been given by the franchise so far. So they go back and try and do it so it gives them free range to open it up. I can understand that, but they make a mess in doing it. So therefore, they didn't make any other movies. What Dark Fate does is basically it's some kind of fan fiction to give themselves the opening up to make everything okay is they get the movie that grounds everything is a favourite of a lot of people, which is Terminator 2, and they destroy the entire film by having a Terminator just come in and shoot John oh, Connor. Yeah, no, spoilers! Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Mind you, that was my favourite bit of the film. <laughs> it, was my, it, it was great. Bang. But, but, it, th but then what they do is instead of trying to open it up like Genesis did, which didn't work, they instead said, OK, Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 exist, but what we're going to say is Terminator 2 was really a waste of fucking time because I'm going to kill John Connor anyway. But it and didn't make any sense. Way. But it didn't make any sense. because Within the their rules, though, they destroy... They dis you said this at the beginning. They quite often go through any of the sequels and destroy the previous movies from what yeah. they do in it. It's so just what they do. Where did that Terminator I, come I, from? I, I think it was annoying as hell, but it kind of fitted in with what they do, which is kill one of the previous movies. Kill it like that. And, 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 and again, and and again what, what did James Cameron do? He's done it again, right? He did it with Aliens and he did it with Terminator. And this is what's killed it. He made the T-800... Oh, lovable Terminator Arnie. And they did it in Terminator 2, did it in Terminator 3, did it in Terminator 5, and done it again in Terminator 6. People got sick of it. He was meant to be an unstoppable killing machine. Now, and they humanised him. Yeah, the, now the, the Rev 9... The, the Rev My 9... My CPU is a learning computer. Now, the Rev 9 was what Arnie should still have been, an unstoppable killing machine but they turned him into good old Uncle Arnie, he'll save us. That's and okay, they spoiled he, it. And they did dark, it again in Dark Fate. With Dark Fate I, too, I'll help you, Sarah Connor, for John. Oh, get lost. What happens in Dark Fate 2 is Rev 9 becomes the uncle to the woman who is in the end, and she's going to come and give a pat on the back. Yeah. What is a prime example here? Is this exactly what's happened with the Terminator franchise is what's happened with the Highlander franchise. They should have left it a fucking loan after the first one. That's yeah. it. It's a fucking convoluted mess now. They um, cannot make any damage. There is four <laughs> movies that have been As you dive in though and tear them all apart, Dark Fate's by far the best of the second uh, lot of three movies by but far. Like, yeah, but that's like having a tallest dwarf, Martin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one, one and two 
one and two are headed so far above yeah. all the other movies. The amazing thing is that they did make two as a successful successful sequel. Yes. Yeah. It's it's just James Cameron pulled his alien alien sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There's a doc, there's a horror horror story where a creature's trying to kill you. It's an unstoppable creature. Second one, I'll make it a real action adventure thing and all that. But this time, he said they're making loads of them. He made the villain the hero because everyone liked uh, Arnie. And then they didn't know what to do. So they kept trying to remake the first two films over and over and over and killing the previous ones every time. Dark Fate was the closest they came up to a successful one afterwards. I liked, the, I liked a lot of the characters in it. I liked some of the twists on it. You know, her being a, a cybernetic sort of uh, enhanced human this time instead of another Terminator combat. Arnie, I didn't mind so much. If Arnie was just left there, his thing, he'd killed him, but his reality had just been destroyed anyway and gone on to be another reality, just completely changed. So you can see something's left behind. Okay, I can kind of understand. It's not what I'd have done with it, but I didn't hate it for doing... That was more understandable than a lot of the other versions of Arnie in there. I, I, I like the action. What's it, I could have done without Linda Hamilton, I've got yeah, to be honest. I, I completely agree. That it felt like she was shoehorned in. She didn't need her. And she did all the cheesy lines that Arnie did from the second one. And she, she is one of the, you know, it's one of the big female action roles. Full yeah. stop. That's fantastic. You, but have, any of you seen the new, have, have any of you seen the new Halloween where they've rebooted Halloween but made it a sequel to one and two? I've um, only seen it. If so, I know, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is Jamie very Lee much. Curtis, right. Dark Fate, Dark Fate is, is is very much a is very much a carbon copy when it comes to Sarah Connor's role. She she plays the exact same role. And the idea of this movie is this this is meant to be the third movie in the timeline now. T three is supposed to exist. Genesis and Salvation is supposed to be all ignored. It's supposed to go T one, T two, Dark Fate. But it, but but even even with Jonathan. this one. Even even with this one, just not following any rules at all, why would the Rev Nine turn to Arnie and say, "You should be thanking me for this"? We're what we're what of the same kind. What, he would have no idea who he is. What the hell's going on? I, I, did anybody did anybody sit there watching Dark Fate and think to themselves, "They have actually what they have done here is remake Terminator Three and try to make it better"? I just thought they remade, I thought they remade Terminator Two. They just no, remade Terminator think, 2 shot by shot, basically. Well, I, I think it feels like Terminator 3, uh, the way the way the, big, the the bad guy and everything else. I, I think it's very much Terminator 3. The Rev 9, you got Ar Arnie is there, and it's like a dual role with the female, with the the cybernetic enhancements and all that shit. Terminatrix. It, it, it does feel a bit like Terminator 3. And it's like they've well, said... Terminator 3 is just a remake of Terminator 2. <laughs> this is a remake of Terminator 2. It's what they do with the Terminator movies. They keep trying to make the same movie with a twist. Go on, Ant, what are you saying? Salvation is the only one where they tried anything different. All the, the rest of the time, they've kept trying to make two. Two. Three was a remake of two. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Salvation was something new, but not particularly successfully done. Genesis was almost a remake of two and three again, and Dark Fate's another another version of it. But it's probably my favourite version of it. The action was good. The acting was like you know good for everybody. As I say, I could have done without uh, Linda in there, Linda Hamilton in there, but you know she kind of didn't seem to want to be there half the time. But that kind of that kind of fit in with the character in many ways. Yeah, Dark Fight isn't bad, but it's better than Genesis. Yeah, a little bit of uh, lesbian sort of feel I got from it. I was, uh, hang on a minute, she was, she was like oh, all so over. If we were in a castaway, you'd be pulling out from your specialist action bag. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting. Gerald Michaels and uh, Sarah Connor. Yeah. I was expecting Tommy Pistol in the background at any moment. Well, he could have been one of the Terminators. <laughs> he could have, yeah. Yeah, uh, he doesn't... Uh, the only he's he's dying. Dying. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's uh, one you wouldn't want to stop with. I, I didn't like the fact that they, they sort of... Sorry, I'm just adjusting my screen on it. I didn't like the fact that they re... They, it was almost like they reshot it shot for shot. 
I, there was loads I didn't like. It was better than Genesis, which was a bad film. And I spent so many times going, what is happening? What is going on? Why have they done this? What's going on now? I, I did sit there thinking Mark must be having a, some sort of a heart attack at the, the dreadful time uh, story. Oh, I hated every aspect of it. And, it and <laughs> Jay Courtney was terrible, but, you know, they did get some things right with Dark Fate. I completely agree with you, Mark, yeah. about Linda Hamilton. I was there I'm thinking, gonna... oh, she's going to be quite good, and she was not. The one oh, thing that does oh, annoy oh, me, oh, right? Fantastic to think of that, but no. One thing that does annoy me, and it, it, I'm probably going to piss people off, I'm going to be slapped down for it. Just because she killed John Connor off doesn't automatically mean that women are therefore now going to be the saviors of the fucking planet. <laughs> and that's not being sexist. It just felt like yeah. they purposely changed it up to make the women the forefront of the movie. Um, and it I wasn't guess. necessary. I, it, you know, we, we have got women, strong women in strong cast, in strong roles. We've had Sigourney Weaver in the Alien films. We've had it before. And, that, and Linda no, actually no, was no, always no, good at it. Yeah, and Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor was great in Terminator 2. But then again, Terminator 3 with the Terminatrix and the growing boobs and stuff was something they had to pay for, I think, in some way. Maybe, they, maybe this was them just like going, okay, we owe you all. We owe you every, every hero in this is a woman. The men are the evil bastards, or they've just been complete assholes and just stayed there. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, there's, uh, uh, there's a lot to pick up. With it, all of these films, really, isn't it? I, I don't know. I, I, I think I hated Grace character less than, less than I hated Marcus in Salvation. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, you know, I have to say, Marcus they, in they, Salvation. They, they, weren't, they weren't bad. Not, I enjoyed all the actors. I say even Linda Hamilton, who comes across as not wanting to be there, that works for the character in here. It's, have you seen her being interviewed for it? I swear to God, she didn't want to be there from the start. But well, it just it worked for the character. Well, the performances of Terminator Dark Fate um, resulted in a box office bomb, bomb which has <laughs> finally killed the franchise. I think we won't see any more, at no, least for do. some considerable time. They said, that, think, no, no, they said that after Salvation, they said that after T3. I've got to admit, I think Dark Fate, I don't think the, the bad box office was particularly down to the film itself. I think it was more down to people just being, the franchise should be dead. We're not going to bother watching this full stuff. Yeah. The film itself, I don't think is bad. I think it's very watchable. I think it's, it's worthwhile. It's much like Solo. It surprised me when I actually came around to watching it on DVD later on. I just, I just think it's a sh shame that the Salvation storyline wasn't allowed to carry on and we got Genesis and Dark Fate because that is the one redeeming feature for Salvation is that it was an attempt to let's okay we've done the Sarah Connor story and the John Connor story let's move it now to show what happens in the future when Skynet takes over and the war is actually going on and it's a shame we didn't get that trilogy that was planned to have had more Kyle Reese and especially Anton Yelchin, who was really Yeah, I, I, I liked him. I thought he was good. He was very believable. Um, you know, I and, like that. Say what you want to about Salvation, whether you think it's boring or not. It did feel like a post-apocalyptic robot yeah. had taken over. It did feel like a sci-fi movie again, instead of a campy time travel slap on the back with one line of bollocks. That's one of the things that I enjoyed about Dark Fate, though, as well. With, with the future stuff, I thought it, it actually felt like that bleak time travel sort of thing again. I like yeah. the Hayley Cacao look-alike uh, sort of doing all her bits out there. I thought, you know, the, the future stuff there with all the Terminators attacking was really good. I, that, that, I enjoyed that a lot. And number one out of Umbrella Academy, yeah. <laughs> really, this was one of the guys. I can't remember the name of the actress uh, playing Grace, but I, every time I was looking, I was thinking, Big Bang Theory? Hold on a minute, is that Hayley? Uh, yeah, it wasn't Hayley Kuoko, but yeah, I can see that, yeah. Um, right, what we need to do then, we need to grade this trilogy, and then we need to have an overall winner. So, 
I think I'm going to go first, and I have got Ronan's as well, which was a bit surprising. Mm. Uh, so my grading for um, Franchise Part 2 is I'm going to go Dark Fate as the best of these three. Then I'm going to go... <laughs> then I'm going to go Salvation because it, it helped me sleep. Salvation would be good to try and help me get to sleep when it's red hot like this. Um, <laughs> and then Genesis because it was an appalling mess. Didn't know what was going on. Crap film. Crap cast, crap actors, just awful. For me, he, it's yeah. I'm putting Salvation first because it tried to do something. I wasn't so bored with it, but I do like long, drawn-out sci-fi stories as opposed to loads and loads of action going on. And it did it did hold me a little bit better. And for the fact that it it, it, it it's top of the, the pile for me because it tried to do something different. Then Dark Fate, it wins out over Dark Fate because Dark Fate yet again made the mistake of repeating what's already gone before and going over the same old ground and it's the same thing over again and gave us nothing really new. It felt like a mix of T2 and T3 together and it just didn't work for me. And um, I'm not even going to fucking mention the other pulling piece of fucking shit doesn't exist. Wank. So you've got <laughs> you've gone four six five, yeah, yeah. Okay. I also uh, I went first salvation uh, again similar things. I did actually like the Marcus character, and I know that's probably controversial, but uh, I thought mm -hmm. it, it tried something. You could argue it didn't work. Maybe they needed different actors. Um, I think the storyline worked though. Uh, then Dark Fate, um, again, lots of it wasn't necessary. The Linda Ham uh, Hamilton role wasn't wasn't needed. Um, it um, couldn't couldn't stomach the Carl role. I thought that was the worst, the worst of the worst. And then coming in at last place, no surprise, Genesis. But again. Like Martin said, there isn't one that is is totally awful. But there's no steaming toes in the bunch, really. You know, there's there's, there's bad movies. That's great on the, you know, a five is probably the low score sort of thing. You know, they don't look. There's always something to, that makes them watchable. I That's wouldn't it. go as high as a five for Genesis. No, no, oh, no. Give it a, a three at best. Ge Genesis for me was Revenge of the Sith Territory, I'm afraid. It was, ooh, yes, it was, it was as bad as that. And uh, was it as bad as Highlander the Quickening? No. But it was. It can be a finish, really. Yeah. What's your ranking, Mark? My ranking, quite easily. Number one, I like Dark Fate. Fate. I've got to be. As I say, I think it could have done without Linda Hamilton. It could have done with a few of the changes and things. I thought it was the best. Um, once you've got one and two, which are the high ground, I thought this was the the best of the uh, the sequels that they've tried to make since. The best of, as we've said, they tried to make the same sequel over and over and over and over. And this was probably the one that I enjoyed the most out of them all. I like Tim Miller as a director. I, you know, from Deadpool, I think he's a great guy. I think he's got a good chance. It, it was much like Solo. It's come at a time when really you didn't want to watch the film, and then it sort of it'll get more of a life on streaming. And you'd say DVD and Blu-ray, but it won't. It'll be streaming because yeah. people won't spend out that much money to buy it. I bought it for seven quid because I wanted to watch it for this. And that was the time I got it on the streaming or anything like that. But I'd say Dark Fate is my number one. I'd say Salvation is my number two. See, because as we said, it tried to do something new. Now, was I enthralled by what it tried to do? No. But did it have some good performances that I really enjoyed? Yeah. And it, it, it tr as I say, it tried to do something, and I appreciated that. If that, if the, if the films are coming, the series of one, two, then Dark Fate, then Salvation, I'd have been quite happy in that you could have spun off maybe then a couple of follow-ons, as Mark said, from Salvation. 
And if we hadn't had three and Genesis, I wouldn't mind one little bit. And Genesis is bottom of the bunch. And I find Genesis to be a fun turd. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not good. But, you know, the, I ended up watching it a couple of times simply because you don't know what the hell you watched. You think, what the hell? I'm sure they're breaking their own rules as they make them up, much like Looper. <laughs> so, you know, they'll make up the rules, then they'll break them part the way through, then they'll time travel a bit, and God knows what's oh, going on <laughs> with it. But it's, it's wanna, last place, but it's last place, but I didn't hate it. Do you want to stop it now, Dave, and then start up again and see if Ant joins back up? Because it says three minutes at the minute. Yeah, I was going to say, um, just to finish. Um, so you went six five four the same as me, Mark. Uh, Mark, um, we'll you cut it off. Back. No, it's all right. You, you, you the two went uh, four six five, and just to make things interesting, Ronan uh, went six ugh, five. Uh, no, five six four, which means that because of the way the ordering works, we have got it that. We've got it six five four as the outcome for the for the second trilogy. So bonus coming up next. We're going to rank the lot. So it's basically one, and then which one follows. Right. We'll I'll be back. Hopefully, I'll reinvite. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our rankings. So now we need to decide which is the best of the best and which is the worst of the worst. Oh, Anthony has props, does he? No, that was my that was my notes from earlier. Notes from earlier. <laughs> so I think we're uh, I think we're all decided that, uh, that that the first one's got to be the best. Terminator yeah. itself. Oh, I see. Martin's got props. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back. Um, yeah, I think I I, I love Terminator Two, but I understand it is a mess. Um, and actually, Dark Fate. If they'd have just shown the first few minutes of Dark Fate at the end of Terminator 2, I'd have loved that. You know, just when you think he's got away with it, to have blown John's brains out would have been great. I might edit it together, where just as you see Arnie's hand come down, and you go, yeah, brilliant, they've defeated Skynet. I'm going to put the bit of Dark Fate on where a new Arnie comes up and blows his brains out. Yeah, that, that'd be a great ending for me. Cameron should have done that. That picked so many people off that day. Oh yeah, completely. Give me your clothes, your boots, and your mask. Yeah, <laughs> I, I completely. I get it. It was a, it was a stupid thing to do to, to jettison all the hard work that was done. Anyway, yeah, are we all in agreement? Terminator, the first one, rules a roost. Yeah, for me it does. I don't think it was smart thing because when we did the thing before, he put T two first. Yeah, I had T two first, but I'm okay to concede. You know, T one's just the clap. It's the classic, it's the horror element, it's, it's the thing that started everything, and it's what they, they went away from and lost and became weaker the further they went from it. And yeah, okay, two, you throw in the action and everything, and for a lot of people, it's going to be their favourite. Yep. It really will be, you know, if you just want, you want the action and stuff like that, you can see it, there it'll be a lot of people's favourite. But for us and our tastes, Terminator, it's, for me, it's, it's the number one. It's very rem reminiscent of the way Alien is. As you've got older and you watch it back, you realise yeah. how fucking good it is. Yeah, I'm completely with you there. That's why Alien for me beats Alien. If I'd have been here the week you did that, I would have been arguing on the side of the And it just goes to show when you won. The one, if there's any redeeming factor in Genesis, was that harking back and that entering the same shop and... No, it fucking was the redeeming TV. feature of Genesis. That was the reason why that Genesis needs to be fucking the Genesis into the fucking sky and fucking nuked. I think, it, I, think it, I think they were going to take you back to a time that you enjoyed. Does that make sense? So I they're wish actually I could go back to a point where yeah. I'd never seen Genesis. That's how bad <laughs> it was. Mark has got a time machine, but it doesn't have any... Uh, but there's no rules involved, so it could take you anywhere. No, Monty's got to get his time machine sorted sometime because we all know he's the bass player and the lead singer at the Motors. Just somehow he travels, he travels back in time, learns to play the bass and learns to sing, and he becomes the lead singer of the Motors. 
just prime the goddamn video. <laughs> oh. I know that he's a time traveller. It just hasn't happened yet. Yeah. He, he, he looks younger than the guy. <laughs> um, right. So I'm my order. really upset the fucking apple cart with my with my order. So uh, well, I'm gonna go first. My order goes one, two, six, three, four, five. One, two, six, three, four, five. That's my order. You may need to write these down as you go. I'm going to. <laughs> one, two, six, three, four, five. I can understand why you say one, two, one, two, six because you are the put you you are um, a shining an example of not no offence but it's a that was the way they wanted people to start looking at this. It's now and one. It's literally a bad thing. That means they were successful in that way because I'm pretty much uh, similar. I'm special my first one. Yeah. Okay. And um. I would, I'd also go one, two, three, four, six, five. Three. Which sounds like the pin of my bank. I was going to say, <laughs> at least someone write these down and try and just pin numbers. Yeah. <laughs> right, but, uh, right, 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 yeah. Rolling through that, the nostalgia element is perhaps my reasoning on that. I think, I think they've they've got weaker as they've gone through, and then. Genesis has really dropped dropped the ball, and then hence it slipped to the slipped to the back of the queue. But that's where I am. Go on then, Mart. Me? Sorry, I'm yes. Mark. No, no, Martin, go for it, mate. Okay. Sorry. Yes, was uh, uh, yeah. Mine. One, two, six. Uh, Salvation. Three. Then Genesis. One, two, six, four, three, five. Yeah. I think we have a top two. I think there's a general consensus of the top two. There's a bit of movement right. in the middle, and we all hate Genesis. And now let's follow the, what we can call the uh, the deliberate troublemaker in Munt. Come on, then. Give us your order. No. This And this is purely based on story elements and the feel of the salvation third. number one. No, 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 right. I, for me, Three, Terminator the is a dark, brooding classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, just give right. us your order. So, for me, T1 is first. Yeah. Then, what are you going to do? Salvation is next. I'm not doing these anymore, boy. <laughs> I see where you're going because that's a bit broody and dark as well. Salvation is next, right? I'm basing this on, 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 on the franchise, not uh, this is based on the franchise, right? I am doing doing it based on the franchise and the qualities of the franchise, not on whether it's a fucking action movie with big explosions and everything else, right? Because um, Salvation story is great. You and it you no, you no, think fuck off. Salvation, no, no, salvation? You think is Salvation better, is it? better than <laughs> Terminator <laughs> Two, Mark? Absolutely. What's Hang wrong on, with you? Wait. No, because Salvation <laughs> does nothing. Salvation does nothing to harm Terminator One, right? Therefore, it goes in as the second one. It does fuck all to destroy the franchise. It keeps the story going. And Two doesn't forward. do anything to destroy right. the franchise. Look next, at the figures. Next, next, Terminator 3. Oh, right. good God. And the reason why... That doesn't big, make any it, sense. It, it it the, movie does. the reason why I prefer Terminator 3 to Terminator 2 is because Terminator 2 pisses me off so much because it is so much of a fucking tangent to what the fucking first Terminator film is, it pisses me off. Have you watched they the same it, film? Yes, did you see? Did you, did you see John Connor in? Oh. Right. Hold the on, worst Dave, thing. Dave, no, Dave, hang on. Dave, we should, Dave, we should we should be good with people with mental problems. I haven't got you know, mental problems. You've got to look after. You've got right? to be good. Dave, you've got to take your time. I have not got mental problems. Right. With Terminator Two, they <laughs> to listen to me. 
the hardest, darkest, meanest, killing, time traveling machine fucking robot there is. And they fucking neutered him. And it fucking destroyed but it, the actual But is it is the same in Terminator 3? No, it's not. Terminator 2. Oh. Yeah, no. I know, but Terminator 3's got a better story than Terminator. He Terminator. hasn't got a story, it doesn't make any sense. It just Double finishes with him going done. slam, it done, does. or what happens it next, does. all credits. Terminator oh. 2, he just fucking bombs oh, and explosions, <laughs> and it fucking, it, 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 it's, it's a fucking action movie made for fucking 13 year old lads. It fucking destroyed this franchise, and if it wasn't for Terminator 2, we wouldn't have had fucking all the other shit that follows, which can't keep to the fucking feel and thoughts and and the old ethos of the first Terminator movie. The only one that does that out of all the six movies is Salvation, and that is the fucking truth, and you can't fucking accept the truth because you got fucking roasting to You can't handle when the truth! When you were fucking 12 years old, watching you love the truth. Two, you love one the just, just, Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Just, just get on with it, right. So, inexplicably, one, 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 four, three, one, four, three, then six. One, four, three, two, then Dark Fate, and then Genesis, because it's fucking abysmal. And the reason we get fucking films like Genesis is because T2 was fucking made. And T3 is no better than T3. Well, I've just put T3 above T2 to piss everybody off. Like I'm pissed <laughs> off the old fucking thing. <laughs> Honestly, it just pissed me off, right? T2. T2. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, right? Terminator 2 is not a bad movie. But what oh. Terminator 2 did was fucking destroy the Terminator franchise and put them in a situation they can't fucking make. Fucking four attempts and they can't fucking get right after. Bunch of fucking, all the fucking money franchise. that they have got in the, the fucking world. Like, here's, here's, the, here's the money, here's the money. Make a fucking good film. They fucking sat in the fucking waste of the fucking time every time. No, the no, Terminator 2, you, the, your main problem with it, Terminator 2 was too successful, so they tried to copy it every time. If they, if they had Terminator 2 had just been successful, and then they did something like Salvation afterwards, you'd have still had my Terminator 2, because it was another twist on the original that actually made more money and was really widely well respected all over no, the world. What they should have done, right, is like, with the money they got for Terminator 2, he's gone to James Cameron and say, hey, Think you can make something else good and dark and original? And look at what we could have got. Titanic. <laughs> Five films of shit. It really is. It's fucking disgusting. You fucking. It's it really looking at it right. It's 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 just as destructive, load of path and bollocks as the Highlander for Highlander franchise. Because we got a mess. No, so we not. No. Yeah, but Mark, this is coming from you. This is coming from you that rates the Transformer films. Watch these films, Jesus no. You rate the Transformer films? Look, I'm I'm looking at this as a franchise, right? And they do not follow the to the tone and the darkness and the feel of the first one. They turn it into a fucking mess. Yeah, we no, no, but they did they did a twist on it for the second one. If they had, if they changed it again for the third and gone back to the darker stuff, I think you can have periods of light as long as you return to what you actually meant to be. The fact that they chose the wrong path after two, it doesn't make two a bad movie. It makes three a bad movie. It makes four a bad movie. You know, it makes, it makes the oh, yeah. continuation. The thing is, that, yeah. Yeah. On the back I am back. not saying you, you, a little, you might hit another strain of like Terminator two. <laughs> Terminator 2 isn't a bad movie. It's a fucking bad sequel to the original Terminator. Because of I what don't think it is. it is. I think that the, the executives took, the, as executives do, took the wrong message from it, its success. It's like, oh, we've got to do more of this all the time. Now, if they headed back and changed it again, gone darker afterwards, and kept shades of both, they could have done great. So, but they kept down the fun route and then the strange twisted time they travel. They didn't just know just what the franchise did they? They they kept jumping around and making the ultimate killing machine a lovely cuddly teddy bear and then in the next ten minutes he was he there was a glitch in his program that meant that he was gonna kill John Connor and then there was oh it was 
I have been hacked. <laughs> in all seriousness, that, that is why I rate Salvation so high because they do attempt to keep it totally the same yeah. as if the first the, one. And, and do some, do something different. Shot, wouldn't you have just picked the um, the snipe, the best sniper rifle on the shelf, and uh, and taken him out from distance with your super robotic eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? Why would you go through all of this? And that's um, what annoyed me with Dark Fate. Because it wasn't you know, so good on film. Like the, the Rev Nine. The Rev Nine was the ultimate killing machine. God, he was polite, wasn't he? Oh, sorry about your shed. Uh, did it make any sense? It was ridiculous. James Cameron again. Oh, we don't want it too dark. Let's lighten it up a bit. Let's make it with a bit of a joke. Why did they do that? He was perfect. They didn't need him to do little quips anyway. I, think I do actually. He was really good though. As the, the actor himself, I actually yeah. do, I did I like think, him in the part. I like the guy. I think what we have to do is have a, an agreed consensus that if you want to watch a film, if you want to watch a series of films that are true to themselves, that keep yeah. the, the standard up and keep to their rules, watch Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah. And avoid these well, if you they, don't want to go around the bed. A couple of films here, full stop. Now, yeah. as a series, we, we, we do have a consensus. I've gone through the scoring and and time we, time is very problematic, isn't it? And and we actually have um, body bag and who's come out with the correct sequence and the most universally accepted sequence. So we have number he, one. He put three as three. Yeah, I know, but so did Munz <laughs> and so did um, so did Ronan. So we've Shit. got. We've got one, the order is one, two, three, four, six, five. That's the order that comes out. Nearly, nearly in release order. One, two, yeah. three, four, six, five. It again, starts, again, it starts great. With film there that you wouldn't, you didn't regret watching except maybe Genesis, but you had to watch Genesis for the... Okay. You've the, got to watch Genesis. Genesis, Gen Genesis deserves a Ronan sort of bad movie review. It, it deserves Ronan the accused. To, it stands accused of being how many poos. <laughs> so the problem I've got with this franchise and the, the, the making of a good franchise is being able to put the first movie in and happily watch the following movies and have a good go through all of them. There's not many franchises you can do with this. For me now, for the rest of my life, I will only ever watch the first Terminator movie. I won't watch the sequel. Because I, I don't want to watch what happens again after, ever again, because it's a mess. Well, the only... Highlander. I can't, I can't yeah. watch Highlander. Oh, through. Highlander, there is only one. <laughs> yeah, there should only be one. Yeah. The, um, there isn't there is the many movies where you can turn and say, right, I'm going to sit and watch all these movies because they're so fucking good and it's a great, complete story. There isn't many out there. There's the Star Wars franchise, which I know some people are, are, are that grains with. The Lord, of the Rings, of Lord of the Rings, I can do it with. Back to the Future, yeah. I can do it with. Terminator, I can't. Highlander, well, I can't. The only gonna, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of comes down to the only franchises that work, I don't know if you sort of kind of agree or disagree with this, is something that's already written you have a complete story that makes sense. Everyone knows the direction it's going in. Everyone knows the end point, and we all know the start point. And they make a series of films within that structure. They're the only ones that appear to work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, <laughs> Say that, but if you see the the Bandit movies. <laughs> they don't necessarily have to have already have, have a predetermined story and base it on source material. Yeah. As long as they set up the rules in the first movie, and keep it tonally the same throughout, and the characters the same going through the trilogy, a uh, trilogy or whatever films. Great. I mean, yeah. as much as people. Same know, director would be always uh, be a good one. You say yeah, the same. So, the characters have got to grow. <laughs> they can um, grow, but tonally, you don't fucking mess. Yeah, but the grow within the grow within that structure that's already pre. Yeah, I, I'm not keen on Rocky Three. I'm not keen on Rocky Four. I'm not keen on Rocky Five. But ton tonally, they're still the same. It's still the same thing going on. Right. It's still the same it's thing. We don't the suddenly. It's still, it it's still the same street thug who used to like shake well, people down for well, cash well, and whatever. Rocky, he, 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 Rocky is. Comedy, 
Rocky is brain dead sports movie, isn't it? Rocky is, uh, you know, yeah. not a lot of thinking involved. But, you know, the target audience is. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the, the, But the, the, the target audience is basically white racists. It, 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 that's what it's about. Hold so on, it like it in, and, and there we go. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, again, the diodes, when we did the diodes, <laughs> no. what went wrong with the diodes? They made they a third one and a fourth that, 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 and a fifth. Third one's one of the good ones, right? But they, 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 one they, very they, lucky there. they didn't keep the tone and the theme of the original movie and keep it, keep yeah. it that way. They had to do a little bit more, throw the jokes and everything else, and they just fucking, oh, it's just a fucking mess. Suddenly yeah. you've got a juggernaut versus an F-15 on the on a motorway bridge. What the hell? Yeah. And he, forgetting that he's that actually just a, he's, a, he's a New York cop, you know. That, and, and that's probably my, my, the thing that killed Terminator for me, and I said it earlier on with this, is as much as I really enjoyed the second one, the glaringly big mistake he made, and Cameron did it in Dark Fate, and it's a continuing theme is, oh, let's make, let's make the T-800 the nice good guy, because we like yeah, him. Yeah, dead right. And, and, and that it is killed why it. I have an issue with Terminator 2. And it killed it. And that's what I was saying. Well, if they twisted it and brought him back as evil again, that would have been really nice. Yes. Yeah. And, they have thought, thrown it again. And, and, and you know what? You could have picked two, and two would have been the fun anomaly. Then it goes dark again. But, but yeah. You don't know, maybe further on down the line, they can make him like nice again, but not to make it a regular thing. They, if they, they actually have all the guts to do something like that. In Dark Fate, I thought a, a new Terminator, come back, T800, come back, kill John, brilliant. And, and then it was like, oh, he, his program was done, he'd got no mission left, no Skynet, so he hung around aimlessly. A, it, did he say a four months Terminator. after I four months after I killed John? I found this woman who was being beaten up by her husband. Four months for an unstoppable killing machine. Yeah. 16 we weeks. What was he in lockdown gone. with COVID? I mean, it's just <laughs> unbelievable. Kill other people. He'd gone back to kill one man. And once that one man was removed, and then it turned out that he needn't have killed him at all, that he killing him made no difference whatsoever to the timeline. Oh, so 16 weeks, he, 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 he just managed to he reprogram himself. <laughs> It's a computer, oh. on, it's a computer on standby. But they, they, they say earlier on, so the, the CPUs and a learning computer. So I can kind of understand it. It's not my favourite thing ever, but I can at least understand it. it. But it's learning new skills to be able to be a better killing machine. Not learning new no, skills. It's, I mean, it can... unit, it's learning to be more human, as he explains in two. You yeah. can give him the fucking film far more fucking credit than that's why they're making look human. Oh, and, and that's what... Oh, I could go on. We've done it. You know, Jai Courtney's... Carl, um, Kyle, Kyle Reese. I mean, my goodness me. Uh, what happened there? Yeah. Right. You, know what? Do you, know, you know what Genesis was like? It was a bit like what um, Michael Bay did with Transformers. Somebody said, there's some characters here and there's something called Skynet. Oh, uh... I'm, I can make a film about that. Do you want, have you seen the previous ones? Nah, it doesn't matter. I, I've got an idea. Da, 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 and wrote a story out on the back of a fag packet and filmed it. Has Michael Bean got any kids or anything? Couldn't they have just like, you know, if he'd got a son, uh, you oh. know, just bring it in and actually do that instead. So well, the whole... It, it made the mockery of the whole thing when... It's going to happen anyway, regardless of the characters involved. And then you suddenly start realising that, you know, have I wasted my time in even getting involved in the story? <laughs> but, but, but actually... Were you, were right? you having one of those dark nights again, then, uh, and Were you pulling the body bag, you know? Christ, it's, is it worth carrying on all of the dark times? <laughs> but, but actually, if you, think, if you think about it... So Terminator One, yeah, Skynet goes. Oh, we got, we got to, we got to send somebody back to kill John Connor because he's going to be the leader of the resistance. It doesn't say that he ultimately destroys Skynet. In the second one, we've got to send the T one thousand back to kill John Connor because he's the leader of the resistance. Why don't they just leave him? They're far better off <laughs> leaving him to grow up to be a crap leader of the resistance. It's the same with Legion and Genesis. Just let it happen. 
Send nobody no, back. If the people wanted to get rid of it, all they need to do is send back, send back a biological weapon, send back fucking cholera again. It irritates me more and more. Oh, we've got to send that back to get rid of the leader. Why? He hadn't destroyed you yet. So what's the point? So the, the art of making a franchise movie is leaving you wanting more. I didn't yeah. want more, and I don't want more, no. and I don't care. That's why uh, Dark Fate failed because there wasn't the appetite there for it. People don't, didn't want more of it. We've had movie after movie of so-so sequels. The appetite isn't there for another one. You you can turn out a good movie and the, the appetite's not really there for it at the moment. Yeah. Well, I think there'll always be an appetite for a, a movie that's got a good story and it's uh, taking you somewhere, takes you on a journey. But why won't they uh, make one then? That makes sense. Boris <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gump. You, you can watch that movie 50 times and get something different from it every time. And that's the sort, that's the sort of movie that I think we all hanker after, but that you rarely get. It's a, it's it's a an rare... inside man's mind. Yeah. That's why it's... Robert Zemeckis doesn't make sequels, yeah. apart from Back to yeah. the Future. Yeah. You know what? Life, a, life really a, is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get with the with the Terminator franchise. That's for sure. Um, right. We have our, we have our ranking. Uh, thank you to Munt. Thank you to Woody uh, in the studio. Thank you to Ant. Thank you to Ronan for sending his um, uh, rankings in via via text. Um, and unlike Arnie, I really hope in terms of Terminators, we won't be back. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> See you later. I'm gonna